Hi and uh, welcome to a new episode of Fire Steel. Today we are going to review a uh, big ass piece of uh, metal. We have the Ontario SP8, Spec Plus 8. Uh, yeah, let's jump straight into the specs. Uh, overall length is uh, 15 and 1 8 uh, of an inch. The blade length is 10 inches. The thickness is a quarter of an inch. And it weighs 1 pounds and 7.5 ounces. Or 666 grams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <coughs> the blade is made of uh, 1095 carbon steel. It has a saber. No, what did you find out of this? Flat grind? Yeah, it's a flat grind. Flat grind. Uh, it has a chisel nose. Uh, it has a black powder coating. Uh, it has a <laughs> saw back spine, which we are definitely gonna <laughs> talk a little about. Uh, yeah, handle made of a uh, Kraton uh, rubber, yeah. hard rubber. Uh, yeah, that is the knife. Has a lanyard hole as well. The yeah. shoelace on. Yeah, extra shoelace if you break the one you have on your shoe. <laughs> Probably. I reckon a sandal or something. <laughs> it's not too <laughs> much shoe shoelace there, but yeah. If a kid break, it's shoe uh, whatever. Uh, Sheath? Uh, you want to talk more about knife? Is it a full tang? I think it's uh, a full tang. Yeah, I do. But there's no use. pommel. No pommel. It's Kraton all the way. Yeah. So, but it, it probably goes down here. Yeah. Could be a long partial tang. Mm. Anyway. Yeah, uh, sheath. The sheath is made of uh, Cordura. Which is this stuff and leather. It has a uh, dangler, which uh, is really great actually. Works like yeah, it's leather. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> leather dangler. Uh, it has uh, three uh, buttons here and one here. But it's a leather sheath though, with just some color, is it not? All yeah, the, all the back of the sheath is leather. Yeah, no, the front part is uh, Cordura. It's Cordura, yeah. yeah. So the back is uh, leather, along with a uh, dangler. Uh, yeah, nothing much to say. You have an extra shoelace here too, <laughs> for some, some use. Uh, to get the knife out, you have to... Yeah, you have to do this the practical way. You need to open these two and that one. You don't need to open a third button. No. Also, I like the details on the button. Yeah, the SP, SP writing. Okay. Yeah, it's just some simple details, but I think it's it's a nice touch. Yeah. Uh, the knife sits firmly as hell. Does it go anywhere? Uh, it's a bit fiddly to open I guess. But as you mentioned, if you have the dangler on the belt, you yeah. can easily twist the knife. Yeah, you twist it up and you can just drag like open it. the button. So it's not a problem. No. Uh, it's a bit more fiddly though to get back in. Yeah. Uh, this. But I, I think the sheath is uh it's a cool looking sheath. I like it actually. Yeah. I do. Mm. It's maybe the best part of the deal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it has um a uh, plastic uh, <coughs> loop thing here, so you can attach it to your thigh mm. if you want to. But that, of course, doesn't let you twist it to open it. Yeah. But, yeah, but then, you have the option of making something yourself. Yeah, yeah, of course. No, with a belt buckle or something. Buckle, yeah. But again, Ontario cut out the sh cut out the shoelace. Put paracord on. Yeah. At least a five strand paracord. It doesn't yeah. cost anything. I mean shoelaces, come on. That's just it's cheap. Yeah, it's too cheap. It's too cheap. Well, enough about that. Yeah. Let's talk about uh 
De ingot. De, de, de steel ingot. <laughs> uh, why did we buy this again, Snake? Me? No, why did we buy this? Why did you recommend I buy it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's... We it's, like unique blades, though. Yeah. Uh, kind of cool looking blades, but... It's, uh, it's cool looking. <clears throat> but it... Yeah. And it's a beast. It's a goddamn beast. It weighs uh, a ton. Yeah, and the balance point is uh, right over the two hand choil. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but um, that's because it's a chopper. It's not a finer work. We tried to do some finer work and tried some different things with it over a period of time now. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't do that. No. Oh. Uh, the grind is too fat and blunt. Yeah. And, it uh, is. Yeah, the, but of course the choil helps since it's so blade heavy. Yeah. To get in. Yeah. Um, problem. But, but even though you hold it in the choil, you have so much metal here. <laughs> it is very unbalanced. Big piece of metal. So final work is pretty much out of the question. Yeah. Day, so. Yeah. You will. You will not buy this knife for that. No. Uh, handle. Handle. Uh, handle is not very good. Uh, the knife twists in your hand when you're uh, chopping. You'll see it in a test as well. Uh, it's, I'm guessing it's this oval part down here that does it. But the knife uh, hits the tree and it, it it won't go this way all the fucking time. So in the end you're just holding it to this way. <laughs> no you don't. <laughs> but you have to reposition your hand a lot. You do. And that's because of the handle. You'll see it here. How it cones up. Because that line follows pretty much all the way. Yeah. So it's so fat at the back yeah. that it forces the knife to twist in your hand. Mm -hmm. And even if he's wearing gloves with the uh, skin uh, on the, uh, on yeah. the inside there. Hum human it, skin. Yeah. <laughs> it still twists. Yeah. I think maybe if you put some O-rings. I've seen some people do that on the K-Bar MK1. Uh, yeah. These rubber O-rings. They put them in these. Okay. To get a better grip, but mm. uh, again, I would say it makes the handle even fatter. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm not sure if that's going to work out. And then there's this part. Yeah. Again, with these yeah. these things that just want to hurt your hand. I don't get it. Stop doing that. Yeah. There's absolutely no point in putting that on on knives, in my opinion. It doesn't hold your hand in place. No. It just hurts. It does. A good handle uh, means your entire hand. That's good grip. Yeah. Not just your uh, pinky on a small hook down here. It doesn't save the, <laughs> save the day. <coughs> In my opinion. No, it doesn't. Uh, and the chopping itself, it's more like a hammer hitting the tree in. I guess uh, I, I guess you could, uh, as I mentioned in the tops um, for X Punisher, yeah. if you put if you grind it yourself, you can maybe put the grind all the way down mm. to uh, where the, the flat grind starts yeah. and just make it a big fat edge. Mm. Maybe it would chop better, yeah. bite more wood. Mm. It could be. Yeah. So if you're skilled at that kind of stuff, you could make a new edge because this edge just doesn't, doesn't do it. It, it, it. it chops, but it's, you have to put so much energy uh, behind your strokes. Strikes? Strokes? Strokes? Strikes. <laughs> yeah, strikes. <laughs> Stroking. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the fun fun part of the blade. The saw back. Oh my god. You can see uh, already <laughs> what happens when you use this uh, saw. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh my god! You might shoot it as well, right? What the fuck? <laughs> Go <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it doesn't soar. No. It just frictions the wood down. Yeah, it, it does. It makes notches. You yeah. can't saw anything with this. No. This is a quarter inch wide saw. <laughs> it's, <laughs> and it's not even sharp. No. There's a reason uh, why you don't saw wood with a quarter inch saw at home. It is. Uh, and uh, yeah. it's not sharp at all. Take off my little onions. This is not sharp. I can actually do it on the... On the, on the corners? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Boo -hoo. Uh, it doesn't work. It's absolutely rubbish and... Uh, to be honest, it doesn't do anything but ruin your baton, mm. hurt your hand, uh, if you want to choy lock with the, your thumb. It doesn't do anything good. Nope. And there's absolutely no point in it. And I wish knife companies would stop doing this yeah. stupid ass stuff. Because what? why? I mean, it probably costs more to start doing this. Mm. Well, stop. Just don't. Just have it plain. Yeah. What the hell do you need that have for? Some gym thing or something. Yeah. There's no point in that stuff. Well, maybe this is jimping. Yeah. <laughs> 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 one big ass finger. Yeah. Um, no, this is a sawback, and they they did saw with it on their video. Or that no, one? that was Blade HQ. Oh yeah. That somehow found this useful. Yeah. And I don't know how. <laughs> um, I guess if you saw snow or sand or something like that, I guess yeah. maybe. Well, maybe if you have cheese on a trip, you can. Yeah, it's cheese grinder. Yeah, cheese grinder. It's a good cheese grinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we found some use for it. <laughs> Other than that, I think you can use this as a shovel. Emergency shovel. Yeah. Dig a moat. Not a big moat, but around your tent to relieve water. And, uh, you, can, you can use this one. Yeah. It'll blunt it, but uh, it's so blunt anyway that it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Well, it is a big piece of metal, so if you need a big piece of metal for something, there you go. Also, it retails for fifty-five dollars. Yeah, I forgot to mention. But, uh, yeah, that was also one of the reasons. Fifty-five dollars, and it's ten ninety-five. Yeah, a massive chunk of ten ninety-five for a pretty cheap buck. Yeah. Which makes us question some other producers of knives that we keep mentioning. <laughs> yeah, in other videos yeah. that keep taking taking our money. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, because the 1095 isn't uh, longer a uh, high-end steel. It's a cheap steel. It's hard. It's good. It's a good steel, but uh, you it's can't. A cheap steel. You can't make some ads that ooh, it's 1095. No, 10, I, I, 1095 I, is a good steel, and uh, all but only if you have a low price, you can say 1095. I yeah. think. <clears throat> you do it the tops way. You cannot say it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, grind. I mean, maybe we should mention the grind. The funny grind? Oh, yeah. Uh, first of all, you have... I don't know if it's just the grind or the coating that's come up on this place. It's... Uh, it's higher <laughs> here. Uh, yeah, I reckon it's just the finish. It's just the coating? I think it is. Uh, no. No, it's, no it's the edge. It's the grind. Actually... There's no grind behind the coating down here. No. So yeah, the grind is uh, a little drunk. But I think that's just this knife though. I don't... Probably. I, I think that's individual, I hope so. Yeah. Uh, also that weird... Yeah, also this chisel uh, point. Uh, you have two grinds, one here and one here. And it doesn't meet up at the same place up here. I guess they're supposed to, but they don't. I, I, don't, I wouldn't know why. It doesn't really matter though no, to the it blade doesn't. itself. It's, it's just a finish. Yeah. But again, I think that comes down to price. Yeah. I mean, if it was more expensive, you would expect it to be. And it's important that it is. Mm -hmm. But for that price, I mean, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and also, we have... Uh, we've been quite impressed with this coating before in uh, previous nights. But it has started to come off on this one. Has come off a little bit, and um, 
it's hard to say i mean we haven't tested any ontarios yet so i don't know if k-bar ontario tops and all these companies where they get their coating from and who does it for them mm. and it would be nice to see because it's always powder coat or this type of coat and this type of coat it's never really any it's not details about what coating it really is mm. so it's hard to to say if that one has worse coating than the other one yeah. I think the coating on this one will hold up <laughs> what are you looking for? Look down there Jesus, it's bendy. It goes <laughs> it, like this. It's bendy and it doesn't meet up at the same place up here. So oh, it's yeah, the, the finish the is not nothing to be impressed about. No, it's not. Definitely not. My, <laughs> oh yes. Who's it for? Yeah. Uh, People in cars. <laughs> People in cars. People yeah. in cars in the city. Yeah. Because, uh, as Freddie mentioned, I think this would be a great thing if you come over a car accident and you need to break open a door or something, yeah. or a window or whatever, uh, you can use this. It would. It will hold up. Yeah. So it's a crowbar and a hammer. Um, out here in the woods, it's completely and utterly useless in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, there are a ton of better choices yeah. for the same price, even if it's cheap. There are better choices for the same price. Yeah. Uh, so I would not recommend it out here. No, too heavy. Yeah, way too and heavy. And it doesn't do, do what it's supposed to. <laughs> Very good. It's not a great chopper. You would say it's an urban one? Yeah, I'm thinking of storing this in my car. Why not? Yeah. Could be handy one day. Yeah, I mean, if you if you have a car and you drive long distances, mm. what the hell? Why not? Yeah, you don't need an axe and a crowbar or anything. Like that. You would actually just need this yeah. in your car. So we can recommend it for that, I guess. Yeah, yeah because you can't break this piece of metal. No, Jesus Christ, oh, it's so big. It's it's, it's gonna hold up. Yeah. So we'll resharpen it now and then. It's gonna hold you for a. And long I'm guessing time. if you're driving a Volvo 240. This will probably replace many of the parts on your car <laughs> if they break. <laughs> ah, yeah. The wheels fall off. Well, you just put that in. Yeah, including the engine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should you buy it? Well, if the aforementioned yeah. things apply to you, then you should buy it. I mean, if you need a survival thing in your car, it's meant for an urban environment. Mm. Because we uh, we banged it into a tree and broke yeah. open, but the problem is it's too fat up here. So it doesn't really get too in there. But I mean, if you apply a lot of force with two hands to get it in, mm. I mean, you can really, you could pry open a lot of things with this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, plywood, doors, I think you could really wreak some havoc with, uh, with this sort of tool. <laughs> Again, in an urban environment. Mm -hmm. So would we say it's an urban knife? Yeah, absolutely. In my opinion. So it's not for us? Not for us. Again. <laughs> but yeah. Did we have anything more on this? I don't think there's much to mention. If you, if you need a saw, don't buy it. <laughs> it's completely useless as a saw. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's enough ranting. The Ontario SP8. Yeah, thanks for uh, watching. See you next time. <sighs> <laughs>